Very nice, Eddie. Very yeah, nice. Far underneath, we've uh, obviously decided we're just going with this one. We will um, next time we come uh, put some holes in it and just windlass it. Um, where's that I've gone? Mike's. Uh, and I love using that's the old hemp rope, mate. You know the natural cordage. Go round, just round the bar. Uh, and I'm going to slip uh, another bar underneath it. Uh, but yeah, in short, that's it. Not too uh, complicated to do. And. Uh, and, and, and obviously you cut those planks recently, didn't you? Very recently, mate. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's just uh, some old, uh, where I made a fence. Uh, and did a little, you know, like one of them things where you put a bench in, sunshine, whatever. Uh, so that's just wood that can be reused, mate, because uh, there's not a lot, as you know. I'm not cutting wood down just to make something flash or fancy, mate. Uh, it'll weather in, and, you know, that'll be the finish of it now. Uh, it's still got one. Yeah, anyway, so that's just a little, little, little work in progress. Again, it ain't hard to get them up within a couple of millimetres all the same side. Bit of string, put it in half, job done. You know what, Mr. Bullock? Because <laughs> I'll tell you what, mate, you were lucky, because when he sees that, he's a bit like me, he just wants to get by him and he's jumping in one, jumping by him, you little monkey dog, come here. <laughs> And again, ladies and gents, I have no idea what David's doing, but just whatever it is, I'm going to capture it as we go along. All will, all will be revealed at the end, mate, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough, mate. Not for sure yet. Oh, this one. Mr. Baldrick, chewing some wood. Bless him. Yeah, I think I might, might do another coffee now. Alright, oh, ladies and gents, uh, just having a little tidy up with this, the old uh, frame bed. Uh, that's uh, a uh, DPM tarp. Uh, just sewn in a loop, it is a, an actual circle. Goes as a ground sheet. So you could crawl inside it if you wanted to uh, just take shelter in that as well. Um, but obviously the bars, because of the weight, need to be on this side. Uh, and all I've done is adjusted that side in. Uh, and as we see, that one's on the outside. This one I will move into and pull it all tight, give it a mark, and just give it a little bit more than is necessary. So obviously this bar needs to come into the other side of that. Uh, which I'll get done and just tie it up again. And then Mr. Baldrick will, will give this a test for us. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> there you go. You like that, don't you? You like that, don't you? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You're proper army dog, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> now, nice one. Go on, sit. That's it. 
Won't be long before you're asleep there, mate, won't it? No, I know. <laughs> we just said like earlier on, Dave said like, yeah, he's like, he's, the dog is like his, his owner, like, yeah. I said, what do you mean? He said, there's an horizontal surface, he'll be, he'll be on it and kipping. <laughs> Baldrick. Baldrick. I'll take you nowhere, mate. <laughs> <laughs> You're a handsome boy, aren't you? You're a handsome boy. Oh, we were going for the lie there, mate, weren't we? We were going for the lie. You're going to lie down, aren't you? Right, ladies and gentlemen, proof is in the pudding. Uh, see if we're going to take a fat bloke. <laughs> back, back. I don't know what you're like. You wait I'll get him first. Oh, there you go. Run for a little one. Come on! <laughs> you love it. Yeah. Now, as I said, mate, because it's, it's it's like a, a round loop, um, an airbed or even a, a full mattress insulation can be put straight in this, um, and it's like proper wide enough. So when it drops down, the um, shoulders are well clear of the two bars. Yeah. As we said earlier on, do you know like when you get the camp beds and that, unless you get them really like proper. You know, fishing bivy ones. Yeah. But they're all a bit narrow because Big Marty says he ends up like with the, the bars on his shoulders. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, because this has just got a nice bit of give on it. You know what I mean? Nice. And uh, I can confirm I will go to sleep on this quite easy. Uh, and when it's not being used as this, it's a ground sheet, it's a well, emergency shelter. And uh, I just think it's easier to start up in the loop. It's only an, a, a, an army basher. Because it's open at either end, you can just um, slot your mattress through there for a bit of insulation and that, and uh, easily doable. The whole book was sold for the machine because they're very waxy. I did one for Mike, and it was just oh, I put some paper over it and then sewed it through the machine, then you know, ripped the paper off it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Mr. Baldrick, you like this, do you? And again, there's like zigzag stitch, mm. right, and then there's a normal stitch behind that, uh, you know on the inside of this, that then the zigzag stitch as opposed to putting pressure it just gives a little bit. No, it does a job doesn't it? Yeah. So there you go. And, uh, easily doable mate, don't cost a lot. When you're not using it as a bed like this mate, uh, it's, a, it's a ground sheet and that, you know. Yeah. Uh, you can fall inside it if you needed to, you use it as a, an emergency bivy type bag I suppose. But, uh, and otherwise it makes a, a very, not, and do you know what annoys me is, when they're not long enough. Yeah, that's well long enough. Yeah, do you know when, it, when they're not long enough? This yeah. one's got plenty of room. Yeah. Kit underneath. Bang, off you go. Yeah. Right, see you get out then. Alright, come put it down. Get out, look, go. Put it down. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, no, I'm just kidding. I think that's dog for Box for Oscar. Don't leave it out, see, don't leave it out. I am down. Ta da! Yeah, I'll stay there if you want. You know, Dave just putting that, it's amazing. As soon as you put a table out somewhere, mate, it just gets warm with stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, we should kill them down, that'll be alright. Yeah, I'm going to help you, Your new bed. See, I like this, don't you? Yeah, that's all right, yeah. Oh, I like this. Yeah. Are you in the house, Baldrick? Right, ladies and gents, just needed to change over cams because the other ones wore it out. Mike, um, cooking something to eat there, Mike? Uh, mashed potatoes, mate? <laughs> no. No? Oh, that's unusual. <laughs> but, um, obviously, you've got to capture that, haven't you? Proper. That looks like posh bacon, mate. Where'd you get that from? Aldi's, Lidl's, or? Co op. Co op? Oh, fair enough, mate. Take so it, you you're banned from the co op now for shoplifting as well, yeah? Say <laughs> something else, I'm used for bloody ages, isn't it? Trenchier stuff. Yeah, good, them little ones, didn't they? Yeah. But they're nice. You've got a little non stick time pan on it. They're nice. Is there anything to get in there? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do it in a sec, mate, yeah, because he'll jump all over me, won't he? But I'll just finish my fag and have a slurp of coffee. That old uh, suit we saw. 
well loving that mate, I must admit. Yeah, it did cost 60, no, well, 58 in the end by the time I got caught, because like, I, I went straight to your Japanese, straight to Japan to buy one, 38 quid, I thought I had a result, like, because I thought, you know, like, well, well, it's all a long time ago, like, you know what I mean, you just got to be just like, up now, mate. yeah, yeah, just don't hang on to the past and that, like, and, you know, start trading with, you know, you know, Tightwood International Trading or whatever, no, 38 quid, mate, but then when they hit me with 15 pound import tax, yeah, cool, yeah, well, I'm glad I didn't have that on cam, mate, because I swore. But you can have anything from China, and I've never had a thing. Yeah, maybe and America as well. Yeah. Someone somewhere is taking a Christmas box, mate, isn't they? Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, no, so we're just doing that. <laughs> Mr. Balls, he just loves cuddles, doesn't he? he said, this is a bloke, well, you gave him a bit of sausage, mate, didn't you? So you got a, yeah, a, a line. Yeah. yeah. And uh, just in case, somebody, we talked about Paracord earlier on, that's just uh, what we're using there, mate, when it's not yeah. right, fresh and fancy. I don't know what it is, but. No, I've got it from a, the guy who was, you know, who was selling stuff at. Um, Camp Shaky, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, just loads of stuff. There. Some the of the prices were unreal. Man. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't want to say white van, but there you go. It is a white van. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. So that's obviously been put to use, mate. And you're gonna have a do a bit of ridge lining out of that for your lightweight one. Yeah, for me, uh, DD super light um, yeah. tarp. Do ridge lining and hopefully get some uh, uh, tie outs on that. Yeah, because it. it's lightweight. You know that that stuff's a bit. Thinner than paracords. Cool, yeah, no. Well, it looks to be, well, it held up to that friction yeah, on that, that bow that drill, mate, yeah. yeah. I mean, so what a condition it is. Yeah. But yeah. I do love the woods in the autumn. And this is one of the rare moments where I put a cam on, mate, and an aeroplane didn't appear, did it? Yeah, point to note. It's that same noisy one all the time, still, isn't it? Because a, a few things point to note, because I said, like, you know, maybe like, Tuesday, Wendy, I only had the one day off, which is a Saturday, mate, and I said to you know, Mrs. Tightwood, Costa Nostra, the boss of bosses, yeah. um, you know, what do you want to do? What you got pegged for this? And she went, you can go over the woods. And I went, right, uh, this is one of them trick questions, you, you just, it makes you think, doesn't it, you know, as you said earlier on. Uh, no, she said tape ball, but she said something else, it was like proper two amazing things. One, I'm all shopped out. Yeah. That is not a word that I hear utter from a little... Huh? No, I'm all shopped out. I mean, I did the business when she, that was her weekend, London and all that sort of yeah, kit, mate. Yeah, yeah. Got blisters to prove it. Two shoplifting offences. <laughs> and that bloke with the leather jacket, you know, shop, he, he, well, he, he don't want to see me back in there, not the way I go. But yeah, no, but yeah, so, but she did say, you've got to take Mr. Baldrick, which is uh, super fine. And it's uh, obviously nice to see uh, Mike being able to pop over. It's all up with work and all, like life gets in the way and all that, mate, doesn't it? Yeah. Just trying a few new bits of kit. Bacon. And I'm just waiting for my uh, posh coffee to brew there. Alright, here we go. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll let Dave you talk you through this. I'm going to come right in close just because you've got nice engraving on that. I'm not sure that's going to no, not focus. Really, yeah. no, uh, no, it's just focusing a bit there, mate. But yeah. you've got a little face in there, haven't you? Yeah, well, when I get home, I'll give it a bit of yeah. sanding and pop my oil up. But it's just a little toggle. For the, you know, when you have the cooksers, yeah. they sort of designed to have a, a toggle on the end. And uh, basically, so it goes underneath your belt and that sort of holds it in place there. Yeah. But as we said, I, w I would prefer to do it. Yeah, that I way. just hook it yeah. through underneath there. Yeah. And we're good to go, like. Yeah, know? no, that's, that's spot on. And you can get that on any pack, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. Nice one, mate. And that just, I was give it a bit of a sounds good, dirt yeah. hands on marks. Yeah. It. it weren't, I didn't come up with it, I just as you go and make it, yeah, no. as you go along. Yeah. But you got, managed to get the two holes for it and that as well, didn't you? Yeah. Fed it through, because I don't know how you did that, mate, but there you go. I got an art new wall. Yeah. And, uh, and you've got that on you, because you, I mean, it was all done in the field as well, mate, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a little thing, I was, Yeah. I had it for a while, I'm sorry, so. That's handy, because. You can have all the flash kit in the world. Is that is that one of my creations? Yeah, it might have been, mate. Yeah, honest. she looks a bit. Yeah. 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 It's just this, and you just unscrew it. It's all brass. Yeah. It's like division sort of like multi tool. Yeah. And you know, you've got tweezers, you've got an oar, um, a screwdriver, and then what you do. So that's what I use for that. Yeah. Just slot that in there. 
Yeah, mate, that is a dog's, dog's dangly. Yeah. yeah, and he made a hole, yeah, no, straight in there, mate. Yeah, yeah. no, it goes in quite easy, and you've got other yeah. little bits and pieces in there. I quite like that, mate, that's quite impressive, yeah. Yeah, had it for a while, you yeah. know, I just leave it in my pack, you know, it's yeah. one of the things you just use it. Because it's, yeah, it's, it's it? no use having the kit if it's not with you at the time, yeah. mate, yeah. And it's quite good, it's got a decent pair of little tweezers in there as well. Yeah. Uh, have a bit. Hmm. Not like a screwdriver flathead, I don't know, yeah. but I think there must be like a flip set in there or something at some point or another. Yeah. But it's got the two important things for me: is tw the three things: tweezers, yeah. got an oar, nice one, yeah. nice sharp one, and uh, like a bridle. Yeah, yeah and, a, and a little drill bit. Very nice, mate. Yeah, no. And it all goes in that quite. Well, I suppose it's quite a tight spot. You might get. You're not going to sell that to me either, are you? No, not really. No. No, no. I feel a dibble coming on, mate. You know. I'll catch you at a week, mate, because yeah, that's yeah. a nice bit of kit, mate. Very traditional. I mean, yeah, yeah. Of course, you know what I mean? It's a bit but, of weight there, but it ah. goes in that, it goes in the side bag yeah. pretty easy, yeah. What's wrong, mate? That's one. That bacon. You know, as Dave just pointing out, it's amazing. As soon as you put a table out somewhere, mate, it just gets a warm with stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, we should kill them down, that'll be alright. I'll take that. Your new bed. See, I like this, don't you? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Oh, I like this. That's <laughs> hey, your new house, Baldrick. Obviously, here we see David. Just, he was derobing, so I quickly got my cam. One for the ladies. <laughs> Manly beard, manly figure. The ladies are all big dribbling, mate. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Do your guns. <laughs> no, brilliant, but no, brilliant. Mm. I don't know. But always reveal, mate, you just decided to yeah. have a little bow drill thing. Yeah. Like. Baldrick, away. Baldrick, go on. Quite. be interesting to see how this cordage works, you know. Yeah. Baldrick, come here. It wasn't expensive, was it? No, mate, no, it's just... Come here. I think I've got that lot off that guy that was selling some stuff. It could just come on a big reel, mate. I think he wanted a fiver for it, and I thought, yeah, that's good enough. It's not seven strand, but yeah, probably have got some real power cord there oh, if you wanted some, mate. Yeah. It burns out or not. Yeah. It's got a very Viking look about you, mate. <laughs> Hello, ladies. It's not, you normally call these stretches, doesn't it? Yeah. This stuff is not stretching at all. No. 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 Fair enough, right? I mean, it's, it's all like higgledy piggledy and you play with it until you get that. So I like the way you sort of do that at the top so it's not tied, but it's just cutting, mate, yeah. Yeah, so it's just a nut. To yeah. And as Sandy said, um, I always think that's a, a good idea. I know we ain't got none here, but. Um, Beeswax. Beeswax, yeah, on the old cord just gives it that little bit of friction, you know, that little bit of purchase, which I've tried and it does work. Very nice, anyway, bring you back, ladies and gents. There you go, ladies and gents, David's done a little bit of tinkering. Bring it back, ladies and gents. That's what it's all about, mate. Keep going until you get one, isn't it? That's what you talk, mate. Well, it's the first. Yeah. First, first burning, that is, anyway. Yeah. So. But we was definitely having some smoke there, mate, weren't we? Yeah, smoke's, yeah, smoke's easy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I know not to get so excited by smoke, but... First drag, mate, you get man points if you can get the fire out of that. Oh, that was just on the yeah. second burning, you yeah. know what I mean? Everything you've got there is natural as well, mate, and it's nothing.
rusty. It fell, it fell apart when I blew it. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Didn't it, did, did it come out of nowhere that, that one did though, mate, didn't I? Didn't expect that at all, did you know what I mean? Until you, you know, That's it's like it. the second, second go, mate, wasn't it? And it sort of... Yeah, the second blast, yeah. yeah. It went... Nice one. Right, yeah. then, just bring it back. But you won't give up until you get one, mate, will you? Oh, no, I won't. <laughs> That's just a bonus thing, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I just collect some bits and pieces from over there. Yeah. But the point was to make a, a kit, which only took, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. Um, yeah, just to... I think it's just too damp. Yeah. I mean, if you get some some starter tinder in there, mate, because all you've got is a little DB Ferkins. That'll do. Yeah, no, it's, just, it's, it's, it's damp, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've got... But I tell you, you've got no problems getting the embers, mate. Yeah. That's, 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 for me, that's, that's the biggest thing, like, if that makes yeah. sense. I was going to use the bark. Yeah. But um, that felt, when I was breaking it up, you could just feel the moisture in the bark. You know, yeah. I was trying to do all from one bit of wood, so yeah. it's all from one piece of wood. wood. And I was trying to use that, but I could, you know you can feel it. Yeah. If you squeeze your hand, yeah. it's dampness there. So this isn't this there. isn't a good angle for you, mate, because I'm, I'm I can see your nasal hair. Yeah, don't yeah. <laughs> no, it's one for the lady, seriously. No, nice one, mate. I'll take that away with me now, because I'll use yeah. one for Mason to Nice use. one. If that was a um because all you got is, I mean, let's be yeah. honest, it's, it's not the, the best sort of tinder no. to use, mate. Anyway, mate, some, grass, some fluff and stuff, you know. Some long grass. Yeah, uh, if you'd have had a, a more neat bit of um, uh, lint in there or whatever, you know, like from a dryer or something, just to give it that initial buff, we'd have, we'd, yeah, what I would, we'd what have been proper. What I would have normally done, if I was doing it for actually starting a fire, I hmm. would have uh, got a bit of charred cloth. Yeah. And that would be my fire extender, because once yeah. you've got a bit of charred cloth in there, yeah. that would then heat up a bigger area, and you've got that ex you know, thing to make it go further. Oh yeah, a bit of charred cloth, mate, that would have been a good one. Yeah, but, oh, no, it wouldn't. You know, yeah. if I was meant to fire, that's what I'd do. Yeah. Oh, right, that's it. And uh, Dave's, uh, obviously, it's Saturday, mate, because you're doing half and half that way with your family, mate. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you coming along, mate. Always yeah, very nice. Day, and we've got that uh, telemark pack, mate. Yeah. yeah. Very, very sexy because you had a right result on that as well, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I've done it now so it fits nice. Yeah. Spread the bars out a bit. Yeah. And then put a uh, padded in. Because you made that, yeah. Yeah, and, it, and now it's alright, but you still like pinch Dig. your skin in between your belt and that. Yeah, I found that a little bit with, like, say, the LK35. Yeah. But no, it's alright now. So, so you got your bulge all set with your mate there, mate? Yeah. Just stand still because that's what he was um, playing about with earlier on. Yeah, nice one mate, I do like that pack. That was one of the first packs I got as a soldier mate. I got it from Lane Stone Market, passed out, um, went to battalion and they went, well you can use it but careful one of the shows don't nick it off you but you know. Uh, and that was yeah. That's it's canvas one mate, but a good pack. No, it's, yeah, it's just the Cador version. Yeah, yeah. But it's the classic design isn't it? Yeah. Like well like when I was a young soldier mate, classic design was like future <laughs> New issue stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was, wasn't it? Like, I mean, he's like, oh, it's classic design. I think I remember when they just come yeah, out, you cheeky twat. <laughs> so yeah, still using muskets. Well, <laughs> Baker rifle, sir. Baker rifle. I never think it's bayonets. It was always a sword. No, but it's nice, though, mate. Yeah, yeah. All right. Traditional. Right. Take care. Yeah, and I went. Yeah, my dog will try and go with you. Yeah, you better call me back. Yeah. Or... So I, I like him. <laughs> you got sausage.
he got some sausage off David, didn't he? He said, oh, I did, yeah, I like that, yeah. I like that. <laughs> well, ladies and gents, uh, Mike's just chipped off, and uh, David shortly before that. Uh, well, it's quite late in the afternoon now, but uh, again, um, there's the old shell. Um, I'll say, saying some Alwood uh, reclaimed. Uh, and that's how it's ended up, we just went straight along. There's one long bit just providing a uh, stiffener underneath, and uh, yeah, they're just left, going to be left like this, so they'll weather a little bit. And uh, I stuck a pole in there because it is proper, proper sol solid now, if that makes sense. Because again, you can only work with what you got, like I say, and uh, I'm using some hemp rope to tie it all up now. Um, that Mike had with him, and uh, yeah, I'm going to bring me all the way down, just drill two holes and just do that, just so it's all firmed down, if that makes sense, and it's uh, wood, probably not bushcrafty, I think I said before, there's no way I'm going to go down and cut uh, trees just to build something, when I've got perfectly, this this will do, this will do, um, as far as I'm concerned, that's the, that's the way I roll, uh, yeah, uh, it's, uh, yeah, nice and flat and obviously even when I just put them on there it kind of filled up <laughs> uh, with gear because it is handy having a table like I say that's Mr Baldrick there he's funny old dog see how, how he sits there like this his knobs on the floor Baldrick you tired boy Baldrick you sleep mate you want to go home don't you have some trough and I bet you go to sleep all night don't you but uh, got that done that's so how I'll be sort of leaving that. Because uh, next time I'll bring the old chair things. And uh, yeah, multi purpose that. Day seat. Obviously, Ray Mears, if you want one, make one. Um, and again, we've still got all this space out here if somebody wanted a uh, uh, kip down here. Which I think David normally does if we uh, have an overnight area. Which we haven't done for a while because we've had Martin's spot, David's new spot. Um, if there's a few people can turn out. You know, we go to the Chelmsford place with the lake, which is all nice, but it's just nice having a little place where you can come and uh, chill out for the day. I say we've done a bit of building, not 100% on that now. Um, I would like it, you know, proper wood slats, but as I say, that will do for the moment. That will do. And I think that will just weather in anyway. Like I say, it's not treated in any way, so it's just wood in the wood, if that makes sense. And uh, rather than cutting anything down, I'll bring wood in. and. For me, that isn't a problem. If somebody says that's not bushcrafty, well, do you know, that's okay as well. But, uh, yep, really is nice. It's a quiet little place. Once you've got them damned aircraft flying over. As you see, you've got proper 360 cover from the area. And as these are evergreens, the thorns and that, um, you don't lose too much of your, your screen, your camouflage screen during the winter. But I'm loving all the autumn leaves, really nice. Yeah, anyway, ladies and gents, I'm waffling along here. Waffling along here. Uh, yeah, so that's got a little bit of improvement to do next time we come down. And well, build complete. Um, I'm not sure, I don't think we do want to do too much. I'll ask Mike if you had any ideas. And yeah, um, just don't want to build for the sake of it, but it's had a little bit of a makeover. Uh, once we get that wood pile sorted out, the rubbish is going out with me today, uh, that'll be it. But there is Mr Baldrick, look, he's asleep. He's worn himself out. Look, you're dead. <laughs> You'd sleep anywhere, wouldn't you? Anyway, it's uh, goodbye for me, and uh, goodbye for Mr Baldrick. Take care.